Hey guys, today is my July inspired makeup look. I hope you guys are having a great July. July is one of my most favorite months of the year. It's just such good weather here. It's really hot. It's just a good month. Today I'm just going to be applying my makeup using the products that I have chosen for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my, of course, my Milani Soft Focus Glow. I also chose this in the month of June, but I wanted to use it again. Just gives my face such a nice glow. It feels like a way more expensive product than it is, and I love the way that it makes my skin look. Like, it makes my skin look very luminous and healthy. And even though it's in the shade Bronze, it's not super dark on me, so I feel like this would work for a lot of skin types. It gives your skin like a nice, healthy, a little bit of bronze in it, but definitely more of just like a healthy sheen. I think I'm going to do my eyeshadow next, actually, because I feel like this palette gets a little bit more fallout, so I'm going to start with my eyes. So my palette of the month is the Catrice Times Iman eyeshadow palette. It's a very neutral palette, but it's a little bit more warm toned, I feel like. So I just thought it was a nice transition into warmer toned palettes, which is kind of the direction we're heading. Like I feel like in the summer and in the fall, we tend to grab more warm tone palettes. I'm going to start with taking the, uh, what is this? The brown, light brown shade. I'm just going to use that as my transition and decide if I want to do something more glowy and smoked out, or if I just want to go very simple. And I want to reach for the shade called Runyon, which is this uh, one right here. It's kind of like a mid-tone brown, maybe a little bit burgundy. I'm going to use that in the outer corner. I'm trying to create more of like a v-shape on this outer corner. I think I'm going to go into this bronzy shade which is called Malibu. And I'm going to use this on my lid. Oh, that's a really pretty bronzy shade. I feel like July is a really bronzy month so I think doing a bronzy makeup look might actually be really nice for this month. I'm just going to go in with that same blending brush we were using earlier with no no extra product but just kind of blend out the crease area. Then I think I'm going to go into the slightly deeper shade called Sweetser. Sweetser, it's the darker brown here at the bottom. It's got a little bit of plum to it but I'm going to use this to smoke out the outer corner and again with that same blending brush just gonna blend out the edges here i'm going to uh, i think i'm gonna do it i'm going to dip a little bit into the shade hollywood boulevard which is this gold i might regret this but i kind of want to add a little bit to the inner third of my eye so it's a little bit more like bronzy gold in there. Then I'm going to take the black in the palette and I'm going to use a kind of an angled liner brush and I'm just going to line really carefully the upper lash line. And I'm going to create a really tiny V, like not or not a V, like a wing, just like a really tiny one. Hopefully, like hopefully this will stay tiny. I'm kind of going to blend the black shade into my outer V a little bit so it's kind of like more of a smoked out V. It's kind of hard to make the wing pointy <laughs> when I'm using powder, but I think that's kind of as good as I'm going to get it. I'm going to leave the eyes as that for now and then I'm going to go in and finish my face and then come back and finish the eyes. So I have two kind of base products I have in my bag for June or July. The first one is the Maybelline Urban Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This one's a little bit too dark for me still, but probably as we get further into July, this will be fine. And then this one is the Marcel CC Cream. I'm trying to use this one up. I don't even know if I actually want to use 
foundation today. I really haven't been wearing base makeup that often these days. I'm going to use this. I'm just gonna apply it onto my brush. Hopefully the shade match is okay. I'm just doing a really small dot just to make sure. I really like this Marcel CC cream. It's such a nice product and it has that SPF 35 in it which is really great especially in the summer. It also has a lot of like added skin benefit, benefits, which is nice to find at like a drugstore price. So it's just very minimal coverage and doesn't do a whole lot. But I don't really mind that. I don't really like a lot of coverage these days. Kind of been enjoying like letting my natural skin show a lot more. Ooh, I have a question for you guys. Have any of you watched a movie on Netflix? It's a Spanish film, like it's in Spanish, but it's called The Platform. And I know it's supposed to be kind of like a psychological thriller horror type thing, but I'm kind of really interested in watching it. I can't tell you why, like the trailer is freaky. Like it's a scary looking movie, but I don't know, I'm like really intrigued. Have you guys watched it? Is it worth it or is it just gonna weird me out? completely. I'm not into horrors or scary movies at all. Like I will get nightmares for days. Like I will not be able to sleep or like even be alone in a room. But for some reason, I'm really interested in that movie. The other one that I want to watch is Midsommar. Midsummer, I think that's what it's called. I really want to watch that movie. But again, I'm like kind of scared that it's going to be really weird. So my concealer is the same as June. It's my L'Oreal Age Perfect radiant concealer. Oh, I didn't mention the Marcel cream is in the shade medium, I think. Light to medium. And then this is in the shade creamy beige. I'm gonna just blend in this concealer. But yeah, let me know if you've seen Midsummer or The Platform because I'm like super intrigued. Okay, that is my base makeup complete. I think I'm going to add my blush next before I set all that. And my blush that I'm going to be using is the Milani. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to use this. I want to use the e.l.f. one. This is the e.l.f. cream blush in the shade Rose Royalty. I'm pretty sure it has a new name now. I'm just going to dip my stipple brush. <laughs> I just tapped it and it's a cream. I'm going to dip my stipple brush in there and then apply it right onto my face. Oh, I might mix the blushes. That's what I might do. This one is on my like list of products I want to use up or like hit pan on. That's kind of why I chose it for this month. Oh my god, I just did it again. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I really, really, really want a cat. I'm definitely more of a dog person, but I think having a dog while living alone is kind of hard. It's okay for right now because like I'm working from home, but as soon as we go back into the office, I think having a dog in an apartment while I live alone is going to be way too hard. So I've been, over the years, I've just really been more interested in getting a cat. The only problem is that our building doesn't allow pets. And I know like my mom doesn't like cats because she's allergic. I think my younger sister's allergic too. But I just would love to have a cat to like cuddle. I'm just adding some of the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush. It's in the shade Cheeky Coral, right on top of that e.l.f. one. We're just going for a completely blushy look today. This little brush has been so nice for cream products. I've been using it for my cream blush for like the last two months. I really, really like it. Bronzer, I am going to use my Physician's Formula Stick Bronzer. It's in the shade Toffee. It's another cream product. I've just been more into creams. I don't know, I haven't really reached for a powder, blush, or bronzer in a really long time. Probably not since April, actually. I want to blend that in with the same foundation brush I was using. I feel very bronzed right now, like bronzed and glowy, which is good. I think that's my theme for July. So anyway, I really want a cat and I might even like move out of this apartment just so I can get a pet because I feel like that's such a downer when you 
move into somewhere where you can't have a pet. I mean, for me, I own this apartment, so I'd have to go through the whole process of like selling it, and I don't really know if now's the time to sell an apartment. So I kind of have to wait, but I would love to be able to have a pet. I'm gonna set my makeup with my Milani powder. I don't wanna do like a ton of setting. I think I'm just gonna set my T-zone area because it is currently 5.45 and that means I'm gonna be wearing this makeup for like maybe three, two hours before I'm gonna take it off. So I don't really need to set it. I'm going to set my face with a setting spray though, and this is the Catrice HD Active Performance Freezing Spray. I'm gonna hold it as far away as I can. Oh, I didn't finish my eyeshadow, I just realized. So while that's setting, I'm gonna do my brows. My brows are really bad these days, like really bad, I already know that. I've just kind of accepted these are quarantine brows because I just can't be bothered to maintain them. Between maintaining my brows and like shaving, I just, I cannot be bothered. This is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I think it's in the shade Espresso or no, Brunette. I think I had Espresso, but then I felt like it was too dark. Like it made my brows look more like kind of pitch black instead of just dark brown. So this was a bit softer and I felt like it worked better for me. I remembered I had this when I was filming my pandemonium video and then I was thinking that I should probably try and finish this one up because it's probably been sitting hidden in my makeup collection for a long time. So that's basically what I do. I just kind of fill them in and then I brush it out and blend it out with the spoolie end. Everybody else on YouTube has better brows than me, but that's okay. I need to finish my eyes. I'm going to take the same palette and I'm going to use that sunset shade, the original light brown shade we used as my transition shade. I'm just going to blend that into my lower lash line. I wanna keep it pretty simple. So I think I'm just going to take some, actually a mixture of the Sweetser shade and the black. And I just wanna kinda of connect my smoked out wing to my lower lash line. I'm not taking it far in, just on the outer like third of my eye. I guess we're gonna go in with Hollywood Boulevard. I swear there was like a shimmery, lighter color in here. Oh well. Okay, and then mascara. I'm just gonna use my travel mascara that I've been using a whole bunch recently. It's just my Too Faced sample. Uh, so I'm just gonna apply that off camera and then I will come back on and do the lips. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2. I just haven't really used this since I purchased it. So I figured I might as well use it this month. And then on top of that, I'm gonna just use a, oh, my face is kinda of itchy, I hope that. DC cream wasn't ex expired. Um, but I'm gonna apply the ColourPop Luxe Lip Gloss in the shade Dream Queen. And that is the makeup look. Okay, so that sums up this makeup look and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.